and I'll say it again. Up to that point, for seven rounds, Garcia was in this fight. Garcia, I had it, I think, four to three, and that's another issue we're going to have to get into. But I had it four to three for Tank Davis going into the eighth round. I believe that's what I had. It was a close fight. Any way you look at it, if you're going to be honest and you, and, and you know anything about fighting, it was a close fight. Garcia was doing what he had to do, trying to control range, trying to counter punch. Anytime he got an opportunity to try to, you know, slip in some quick shots, knowing that he had to get out of town fast, he couldn't stay al- he couldn't stay in Dodge too long because if he stayed in Dodge after, after sundown, he was going to get shot. He was going to get shot. So he knew that. So he was fighting the right kind of fight, and it was a close fight. And then he gets hurt. He survives it. He goes back to his corner and he quits. And there's no other way to say it. Yeah, he said he couldn't see and all that. And thank God he's okay. And is there a chance, Teddy, there could be hemorrhaging going on in this in, in this sport? And, and yeah, anytime, anytime. But most likely, you're hearing something that you hear a lot of times in this business. I can't see for a moment. I got I got my clock. I got my bell rung. I got my clock cleaned. I saw white lights. Yeah, go ask all the great fighters how many times they've seen white lights, how many times they've seen stars when they weren't outdoors. They were indoors, and they saw stars in front of them. Yeah, and they overcame it. If they're a fighter that went on to be a great fighter, they found a way to overcome it. They overcame it because it's called fighting overcoming and like i said earlier a fight's not a fight until there's something to overcome until there's resistance something difficult to deal with something to overcome up until then it's just an exhibition an athletic exhibition who's quicker who's slicker who's this who's that but once somebody gets hurt once there's something to overcome there's distress there's there's a problem you know, like like you're, you're here in a spaceship. Houston, we got a problem. Houston, we got a problem. Okay, those astronauts were, you know, they, they were trained to deal with that problem. Uh, you know, not to hit a parachute and jump out. You know, they're going to deal with that problem. They're going to say, okay, we got to do this. We got to look at this. We got to look at that, the, this, that. All right, I got to be an astronaut now. Now I got to be an astronaut. Now I got to, before I was just a guy who knew how to go to high, uh, to, to high heights. <laughs> I knew how to uh, fly a plane or, or a spaceship fast. But now I got to be an astronaut. Well, now Garcia had to be a fighter. And he came up short. He came up short. You know, thank God he's okay. Again, I understand I'm not a doctor. I understand I'm not in his body. But I understand this business I've been in 50 years. I understand the fighters that have been down that same road. Because it's a road that if you're in this business, sooner or later you're on. Sooner or later you're going down that road. Sooner or later, sooner or later, you are going to be on that road if you're in this business long enough. And when he got on the road, he, uh, you know, he spit the pit. You know, he... Uh, and. Uh, Instead of uh, and say instead of saying hey I'm gonna get back in the car he put his thumb out and he went hitchhiking, yeah, <laughs> he you know instead of saying hey I'm gonna I'm gonna keep driving this freaking car, I got I'm gonna I'm gonna find a way, uh, yeah it's a little rocky now but hey, this is the business I'm in, this is what I signed up for, but obviously. Uh, he didn't behave like a fighter when the moment to behave. He fought like a fighter, but he didn't know how to behave. And that's it. If it's too harsh for some of you out there. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm, go get some warm milk. Go, go, go talk to somebody. Really, get some warm milk and, and a cookie and go, in a, go inside and talk to somebody and feel better. <laughs> Get away from here, though, because this is going to be upsetting. Okay. <laughs> Teddy, All right. official. All right, official, buddy. 
official scorecards after eight rounds. Two uh, two judges had it 79, 73. Oh, yeah, because here, that, ah, because that's the final part of this. That's so horrible. That's so horrible. That once again, they were gonna rob him. That that at the end of the day, with all this that I talked about and broke down properly, it didn't matter. Because as long as Davis got through that fight, he was going to win because they were going to take care of the house fighter. Because this sport, damn it, I didn't want to use this word again, but this sport has a corrupt side to it. Okay? All right? I hope you didn't, you didn't spill your milk and, and throw up your cookies because you probably did. But I would too because I got to live in this sport. Knowing that it's got that corrupt side to it. And listen, taking nothing away from Davis. Davis, Dave, and Davis did his job. Did his job. He was the better fighter. The better fighter. But those judges didn't do their job. Oh, they did do their job. That's the scary. That's the scary part of that. That they did their job. That they were making sure their guy was going to be protected. Even though he didn't need it. He didn't need it. But just in case, they were making sure, because there's no way, Ken, I'm sorry I disrupted you, go back to it, but there's no way that those scores should have been those scores. I had it four to three. All right? You want to have it one or two points? Fine. But go ahead. It was, go, it, I think you had it five three. It was stopped in between. Was it stopped after yeah, yeah. the eighth round? Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, two judges had it 79 73, seven rounds to one. One guy had it six rounds to two for 78 74. I was looking online just out of curiosity. What can, most can, journalists is there said. any way that you could see that score? Seriously. There's not a, not a chance. Everyone, everyone. Every journalist who or, or anyone who was scoring it that I can see, I looked at boxing scene, battle left hook, all of them, they all had it like you. They had it 77, 75, basically five rounds, five rounds to three. Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably, if you're count, see, I didn't count that round initially, but if you're going to count that round, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, you have it five, three, yes. Yeah, so you had... I mean, basically, everyone saw it that way, meaning Garcia was in the fight. He got, he got cracked some good shots, no question, but he didn't go down. He didn't look to be hurt really bad, but again, I'm not in his shoes. Um, but what was a competitive fight? And like to your point, he just, he had enough. Uh, I think the whole thing was overwhelming to him. I thought he looked overwhelmed from the beginning. I was impressed with that he would look as good as he did because even in the interviews before the fight, I thought he looked very intimidated and uneasy about the whole about everything that was going on. This was a huge stage, by far the biggest stage he'd ever been on. This fight was huge. $75 pay-per-view, sold out arena, Place going mad. One a.m. The crowds on and in, fire. And in, People in fighting the in the ring, crowd. And in the ring with a very, very dangerous fighter. Hundred uh, percent. Who was starting uh, to gain steam. And starting to get to him. And, and, and listen again, that, uh, just so the people out there that was, I I was only judging it going into the eighth. It was I had it what four to three going into the eighth. So yeah. after the eighth, yeah, I never finished my scorecard because I never got there. But after the eighth. It would have been five three, yes. Yep. And but to have it six one seven S seven uh, one seven one Ken. <laughs> I mean, really, Ken. When you do that, really, when you do that, you. I'm surprised, Teddy. I'm surprised they gave him one round. I'm surprised they gave him one round. I'm. I'm serious. When you, when you do that. You shouldn't be a freaking, really, you shouldn't be allowed to be a judge. I mean, if there was a national commission, which I fought for for years to get a national czar, a national commission in this business, if, if, I, if there was a real commission, a real commission, well, there's not, but if there was in one of these states, if I'm the head of that commission or that czar, I'm calling those judges the next day when this fight's over, I'm calling them in. I'm calling a referee in too, and I'm saying to the ref, what the frick were you doing looking out there at the altercation? Uh, you're not supposed to be looking at the altercation in the ring, uh, outside the ring. You're supposed to be looking at the altercation in the ring. <laughs> the altercation in the ring, not the altercation outside the ring. What the frick were you doing? You're not going to ref for me no more until you get your crap straightened out. You got to get your stuff straightened out here, guy. And then I would have called the judges in. I would have sat down with them, put the, put the film on, and I would have said, explain to me now 
how you got it seven to one. Explain to me. 